guys, welcome back to my channel Lissy Builds. For today's video we are doing a small family home, it's two bedrooms and it uses only base game and the new dream decorator home build. Oh my god, I forgot the name of it already. I forgot the name of it, or is it the new dream home decorator? I had it right practically, the new dream home decorator build. So as you will notice, the majority of the exterior of this build is base game only because what I did was I built this shell yesterday and did all the exterior and landscaping and then literally as soon as the pack dropped and released today I got straight on to decorating the interior but I did add some stuff from this pack to the exterior um, towards the end of the build so even though the exterior is done some like you know outdoor furniture for example is added into the landscaping um, I did forget to put trees in this build whilst recording, but I did add two at the very end. You just don't see me do it, but it's just two small trees. Um, this build actually turned out really cute, and I'm trying not to talk about this new pack until we actually start seeing the items, because it was so cute. Like, at one point, I was doing um, this shelving area in the living room, and so I wanted to obviously go to shelve. So when you click so you've got the three options when you build and buy the very chair at the bottom if you click on that and it gives you all like you know electronics surfaces comfort all that instead of clicking on clicking on surfaces to get the shelves i clicked on comfort and i can just suddenly see all these beds and i was like oh beds oh no no stay with the living room stay on the shelves and i got really excited and i didn't even see like half like i haven't even properly been through this new game pack yet i have literally just gone into each room and done what I needed for each of the packs so once I finish this voiceover and got it set up onto YouTube because I'm going to post this one straight away um, I will be going back into like check out every single thing I don't do um, build and buy reviews but if you head over to the YouTube channel Mummy Plumbob she does reviews of the packs um, I'm not sure if she does reviews on the let's plays um, she possibly does because she has, I know she has a little bit of everything. She does like speed builds. She has a let's play. She does pack reviews. She does speculation. She does a bit of everything. Um, but anyway, yeah, back to this build. So if you're looking to find out that, head on over to her channel. Um, other than that, I have this build going on for you right now. And when I do, for example, I look for the beds, I do pull out all the beds and go through all the different swatches whilst figuring that out. So you will at least get to see quite a bit of what is available. Um, if you've got this pack and you don't have any of the other packs, that is perfectly fine. You can download this build because it only uses base game and the new Dream Home Dream Home Decorator pack. Home Dream, I can't even pronounce this. The new Dream Home Decorator game pack. So it is available for anybody that has this pack. If you only have base game, and you would just like the shell of this build with the exterior before I have downloaded the dream, the new pack, please let me know because I have the shell itself saved to my gallery, um, not to my gallery, to my library. So if you would like me to upload it as just a shell without the pack, so it's base game only, I am more than happy to, and I may actually just log on later on and go ahead and post it as a shell base game only shell so you've got that if you want it because I really do like how this build turned out and this is like another one of the builds I've done that hasn't used like any picture inspiration or anything this literally just came from my brain as and when I built it and I'm really really happy I think I definitely feel like this build shows the improvement that I like how much I've improved since I first started building or like my first video um, so I'm really happy about that. Um, this little terrace here as well on the back is used with a new dining table and new chairs from the new Dream Home Decorator Pack. Sorry, I'm like, I'm actually like lay down doing this voiceover on my stomach. So every time I move it's like, <laughs> like when you know like you like crush your stomach and you crush your airways. That. Well, not crush because I'm not like heavy or anything, but still when I'm leaning on a pillow, you know, that's how it does it. Um, and if you've noticed my last few builds kind of use these plants here usually i was sticking to like the lavender and everything and i've kind of gone on to reds and whites at the moment so that is working out rather well so here we go we're in the inside oh it's exciting so i started with the kitchen and i pulled out both and i kind of went through the swatches and obviously now this is very fast going through the swatches so again you want to watch like a 
build and buy review to properly see everything in the colour swatches in there but you kind of get an idea and then you stove tops how cute they look i went with the electric one instead of the, instead of the gas one i do end up putting that toaster oven back and i do move around those kitchen items a little bit and later on i'll change those from that green color to like a yellow um, but for the most part this stays where it is the only thing i change here is i move the little hob section of the oven over to the side where the window is because i thought it'd probably be in the way and someone like if this was a real life and that was my house i would definitely accidentally burn myself whilst eating my breakfast at the breakfast bar so i figured it'd be best to move that even though it is only a simulation um, here we are just cluttering up i didn't like there is lots of clutter with this one but not a ton for the kitchen as you can see all those clutters you're going through just not a lot of it kind of worked well for the kitchen in my opinion but there is so so much that comes this pack that it really didn't bother me at all and there is plenty of clutter for the kitchen anyway so here you can just see me kind of shimmying everything over throwing those last little bits in there and then I add a fruit bowl and some the magazines to the very end table here because usually you just kind of pop stuff on the end as you're passing but the rest tends to stay quite clear. Um, and I was just kind of checking out there is a wallpaper that I noticed came with this pack which I used in both bedrooms. Um, obviously different swatch colours in, in different ways. Oh, and anyway onto the dining table so at the moment I'm using these blue chairs it does change to yellow later on. Um, there is so many there's like there's three new dining chairs you've got one new bar stool there's like five different types of those sofas and then you've got two normal ones and like a not an ottoman it's still like a sofa but it's like a long i suppose it's like an ottoman but it doesn't like if you type in ottoman it doesn't come up there but there is there is a new new ones that i use at the end of the parents room beds that are so cute and I'll also change the swatches here and the swatches match like guys the dining table to the kitchen to the sofas the computer desks all the swatches match like everything matches and I'm so happy about this um, because sometimes you'll get like stuff like they'll have similar swatches but they they won't be like exactly the same and that I'm one of those people that I like things to be the same. I'm a bit like OCD. So when something's like, you know, it's technically the same swatch, but one of them has like a dark blue pattern and the other one doesn't, I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? Like, I can't cope with that. I'm very, um, sh not strange and that, like, like OCD, but not OCD, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so I'm really happy how like cohesive this pack is. It works really, really well. Um, there's on, especially on a lot of the um, units there's loads of places to slot things as well so that worked really well especially in the hallway I did um, here I'm just kind of throwing a few doors in but then I was like instead of going onto the bedrooms I was like no I'm gonna do the pictures now I was gonna do them at the very end putting pictures on the walls but I went with doing it at the beginning and there was really only two walls that I could put stuff on and then the desk here obviously shimmied those around a little bit at the side of the sofa um, later on I do add curtains to the living room so I did have to kind of pull it forward a little bit um, but it doesn't make a difference and not like it doesn't make a difference to playing on the build if that makes sense and the build is fully play tested this desk has plenty of room it works um, the bath works and everything else is well spaced um, so everything works very very well um, and I really hope you guys enjoy it playing in it I hope you do and um, I'll be doing more builds with this pack through the week just so I can fully see what there is and what I can do with it and then I'll get back onto doing like base game only and then like limited pack builds again um, but I just kind of thought while this pack has just come out I know there's so so much in it I just can't fit it all into one build unless I do like a super large build but uh, if anyone watches my channel you know I don't really like doing large builds because um, I just lose patience with builds like even towards the very end of this build and I did this over two days because like I did obviously the shell yesterday the exterior and I've basically just done the like interior decorating and just adding like outdoor furniture today and even then like my I was already losing like focus like I already wanted to start a new build and get this one like finished with even though I love it because it's got the new game back in it but that's how much my like concentration wavers on top of that I'm also quite hungry um, it's been a long day and 
um, I've not started cooking tea yet. I was going to do that first before this. And I was like, no, I have to let the new pack drop, download it, finish my build, edit the footage, get the voiceover done, export it to YouTube, edit it on YouTube and post it before I even start to cook because I'm just way too excited that I can't, even though I can't fully, like I'm losing concentration and wanting to do something else, it's wanting to do something else with this pack. I couldn't do something else and then come back and start playing The Sims later because I, I need to play The Sims. I feel like I'm addicted. It's like an addiction. I'm sure like games and computers are probably like some form of addiction, like because I've seen those like videos on YouTube where like people go mental when their parents take away like their console or something like okay I'm not that obsessed like I can take breaks from it but it's just like excitement you know like when you're excited for something new to come out and also um my grandparents I saw them recently and I haven't seen them for quite a while and over like Christmases and birthdays they always put like a little bit of money into an envelope and then when they see me they just give it to me um that's kind of like how my family have worked since I was probably about 11 before that it was just used to be presents and now they're like oh we'll just give you money get whatever you want because you know people like different things and what you like changes so much that they don't want they don't want to get me something that I didn't like I'm always like treating them and stuff and doing the same for that I usually on like their birthdays and Christmas I buy presents because like I know they like chocolate they like the exact same kind of chocolate every single time um if you go to the shop they'll even ask you to get you that same chocolate it's like you live off that um for my gran it's Kit Kats obsessed with them um but anyway so I was like I will get the new game pack with my birthday slash Christmas money um I'm still a little bit left over for when some more packs come out or if there's a sale I might spend it on that because um I know in spa day there is the incense kind of clutter item and I want like I would literally buy the spa day pack just for that incense clutter item like is that weird? Is that obsessive just to buy a game pack to get one item? Maybe it is. Maybe it is a little bit. But anyway, back to the build. This is me throwing in all the curtains now. Um, and I just kind of changed the colour swatches on them because that was kind of the only size that really fit this build. It was like a small, medium and large curtain size depending on your wall size. So I just went with different, different swatches and it worked really well. And just again, more shoes because you can just like four different sets. So they all come in sets of two, the shoes, and then there's four sets of those. So with different color swatches. So you can do like kid, adult, child. And also in the clothes section, it obviously went quite fast. But there's like hangers with kids' clothes, hangers with male clothes, hangers with women's clothes. And then you can like switch them. Or obviously not specifically gender for male or women, but that kind of, you know, masculine, feminine kind of vibe off them um, so here we are very close to finishing the build I'm just kind of throwing in some finishing touches and then I just do the out um, outside exterior outside oh I switch the bathtubs over and then we go into doing the exterior which is just adding I added um, two like outdoor seating areas as well as the dining area A barbecue I added like some planter boxes and then out front on the front terrace I did like a little kind of circle of chairs so um like so you know you're with your friends in the evening having drink, having a drink um or I don't know maybe it's sunny and you want to sit on whichever side of your house is sunny so maybe that means you're sat on the front terrace maybe it means you're sat on the back terrace but I can just imagine like a group of friends sat here having a little drink enjoying the view enjoying the fresh air and like a nice like summer evening um, so there's no roof on this section over the terraces, which is unusual for me. Usually all my terraces have roofs on, but this one doesn't. And I like it this way. I think it, I don't know, it just adds some more dimension to the build, I think. Um, but anyway, have you guys, please let me know if you guys have got this pack or if you're thinking of getting it. Maybe you don't like doing interior and it doesn't really bother you, or maybe you hope the gameplay and you are happy with the packs you've got, but I would love to know what you think. I also want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting my channel. I've noticed recently there's a lot more people um, commenting on my videos and it's get, they're getting more likes and even on the gallery there's been a lot more people 
commenting on my builds that way so thank you so much if you have got this far don't forget to give this build a big thumbs up like and subscribe if you've not already and if you hit that bell button and click the option all you'll be notified every time i upload a build um to youtube and i do upload every other day um, and I do so I do a couple of room builds every now and again as like a little short, but you won't get notified of those for some reason. I'm not sure if it's because of a short or if it's because my channel is still fairly small. Um, but that is that. So going back through, you can see the little kind of hallway area that I just kind of cluttered up a little bit with some desks. We've got the computer desk in the corner. We've got the little dining area. And again, I love, even though the new pack only comes with two new pictures, I really really like the pictures they have some really pretty swatches we're out onto again the dining area outside maybe it's the summer you want to sit out there with your friends and then we have the barbecue section oh and i forgot i added a climbing frame because we have the kids room does have two beds um which you'll see in a moment this is the adults room here i really like those little ottomans at the end of the bed as well so so cute um and then we go into the bathroom Again, I switched out that tub, but going back to the bed, the kids' bedroom that we're going to go to now, I did add two beds in there with the bunk beds. Um, whether you're, you're playing with two kids or not, completely up to you. I just know, like, growing up when I had a bunk bed, I was a single child, but I still had a bunk bed when my friends stayed over. This is the whole build. Thank you for watching, and if you click to either side of the links, you'll get some other videos from my channel that you might like. Thank you.